scrappy little startups don't usually end up in a massive booth like this, but that's not the case for Bug Labs, uh, who are here at Verizon's booth at CES 2011. And uh, we're going to hear a little bit about how you got this far and what you're doing at this massive booth. Sure. Well, uh, we're a startup, as you mentioned. We started in 2006 with the idea of you know, opening hardware innovation to users, whether they be small companies or big companies. Um, we've recently announced partnerships with Verizon, AT&T, and Sprint with regards to you know, hardware innovation and putting these hardware devices onto their networks. What's amazing about these guys, it's worth noting, is that they're, they're a bunch of enthusiasts who have been in building hardware, uh, from what I understand, you know, at home as enthusiasts, and, and it just got such a cult following that you guys have actually managed to build this up into a business uh, so successful that the big carriers, and not just Verizon, but AT&T uh, and Sprint, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken, have, have been really paying attention. Yeah, that's absolutely right. Um, and because of those um, partnerships, we've also gotten a lot of interest from overseas carriers as well. Because anyone who knows about building devices knows how hard it is to build a device. You know, no one likes to solder, and Arduinos will only get you so far. So step one is building a device. Step two is putting it on, on a network. And to get it certified and to pass like all these sort of safety tests is, is quite difficult. So. So how do you guys simplify the process and what are you doing that Verizon is so particularly interested in? Well, Verizon is interested in, you know, opening up its, its platform to users. With the advent of the smartphone and tablets and whoever knows, you know, what other sort of devices will be coming out, there's a, a very large opportunity in what's called the M2M space. And the M2M is, stands for machine to machine whereby businesses have real business problems that need addressing that aren't satisfied by like iPhones and, and tablets and so forth out in the market. So what I'm talking about is say you own a factory or a bunch of different factories and you want to monitor the temperature and humidity and be able to pull that information and see it on a dashboard on a browser. Stuff like that just doesn't exist currently. So we have this um, bug base over here. It's a handheld Linux computer with four slots. It's got a TI OMAP 3530 processor. It's an ARM-based processor, Cortex-A8, runs at 600 megahertz. Um, 256 megabytes RAM, um, upgradable up to 512. Um, comes standard with two gigabytes of solid state storage. You've got the uh, system SD card over here. You also have a user SD card here for storage. Uh, you could upgrade it to 32 gigabytes. And we've got these different sorts of modules. Here I'm holding a touchscreen LCD, um, high resolution 320 by 240, I believe, color. Here we have a Verizon um, dongle. We have a, a USB module that accepts different types of dongles. It doesn't have to be 3G, it could be 4G. And we managed to get that working as well. So simply to build a device, let's say you wanted a touchscreen, you just snap this on. and then you wanted wireless capability, you snap this on, all of a sudden you have in your hand the hardware done. In order to make it a reality into a device, you have to program its behavior. And that's done using Eclipse, Java, so forth. Very standard open technologies. And so then a developer wants to get hold of this to, uh, to facilitate what he's doing. How much would this cost him and, and how can he get hold of this? Well, we've got a range of bundles. Um, lowest bundles start at about $500, I believe. Um, you could visit store.buglabs.net to get more information. Um, we also have very specialized bundles for enterprises. Those cost in the $1,400, $1,500 range, but include quite a bit of training and support. So for those serious about bringing their ideas all the way through to production.